to the project. It's called Welcome Back After a Short Break. Uh, it's not about the biology. It's more about the creating a community, the community which will be able to negotiate with future super artificial intelligence. intelligence. The cohort body scanner. Okay, to get all data from the human, all data we need, we have to scan the mind, the body, and the gut, microbiome, each element the, the human is consist of. Uh, we could do that with a variety of scanners, not only with one. And my proposal is uh, one small organic mm, scanner. Uh, we can put uh, the information from these scanners uh, later. Uh, this work is rather uh, steps which we need to which we will bring us closer to building such a scanner. And I hope it will be helpful not only in my project, but also for diagnostic and for research. Rough idea for my long-term research is to design a consortium of bacteria and viruses and helper viruses and introduce it into a human body to get as much information as it is possible. Then the bacteria store the information in its DNA and deliver uh, somehow to outside database. Uh, due to low capacity of memory in DNA, we have to make some design some data cascades for flow of information, uh, and it would be desir de desirable to transmit this information from data collector, bacterial data collector, to the outside database by electromagnetic waves. Uh, in years to come, this approach should slowly oscillate into designing a consortium of smart bacteria that will be able to delegate tasks between the viruses, uh, for it would be possible to make a machine scanner inside the cell and deliver information outside with some standard, in some standardized way, uh, for example, some information packet. Uh, as you know, the, some RNA viruses now are building machines in the cell, in the host cell, uh, polymerases. Those polymer, viral, viral polymerases build a part of capsides inside the viruses and make a copy of virus, sometimes without lesion, without destroying of cell. So I hope in the future we'll be able to make a societies of uh, bacteria and viruses which are smarter and could de delegate, delegate the tasks. Uh, we need also some 3D positioning of bacteria inside the body. We know that we would like to know where it is exactly. So we need something like GPS system and maybe we will be able to do that with uh, magnetic field. There are some bacteria that, uh, that sense magnetic fields maybe electromagnetic, uh, because some bacteria have uh, tiny crystals inside. And first radio receivers was, ma was made with tiny crystals and, and the coils. But maybe it will be easier to make, to code such scanner in directly into human DNA. Uh, but both ideas are highly speculative. So let's go to the ground to my aim to uh, research and this aim to start when I have access to laboratory and some experience. Problem with the body imaging is that, that even with most modern scanners, computer tomography scanners, we cannot sc uh, scan cells or other small structures. Here is the yellow square uh, in comparison to the mammalian cell. You see the the pixel in CT tomography is much bigger than mammalian cells, so we cannot scan what is inside the cell with it or even what is between the cells. Uh, on the right, you can see E. coli, e. coli size. This is in scale. So the bacterial scanner seems to be the right solution. Especially we could design some synthetic bacteria that will be much smaller and with more capacity inside its DNA, more memory. So I would like to adapt bacteria to sense as many events as possible at the intercellular or intracellular levels and to write this information down in the, its DNA. 
approach is simple to build tools on a ba basis of discoveries in sensing and rec recording by bacteria. Uh, the main problem with these DNA-based memory devices for recording solar events is that, despite constant progress, they are still very slow in and inaccurate. Recently, scientists developed a system capable of recording uh, in DNA uh, sulcum ions uh, within one minute over a 60-minute period. It's, uh, for practical solution, it's not very good yet, but in comparison to the hours or even days, it's great progress. So it's uh, a promising and fascinating field of research, so it's worth uh, getting into it. It's also worth noting that many methods used in DNA recorders are based on the mechanism of creating immunity, thanks to which organisms defend themselves against pathogens. TDT transferase and Cas9 are important parts of the immune system's the defense of organisms. It's kind of uh, of arm race. So shortly, in first experiment, an attempt will be made to record the signals from the uh, brain organoid, calcium and voltage. But first, I have to to, to grow brain organoid, so it's a uh, Again, not easy for for beginner. So, before I'll be able to do that, go to the main aim, aim one, which is about education. So, to encourage young people to become interested in bacteria sensors, DNA recorders, and in general in uh, synthetic biology, I came up with the educational kit. It's called SUS, simplest bacterium scanner DNA recorder ever. A science ex science experiment kit for educational purposes. It's SPY DNA Recorder. 